See you later, Kai. You're gonna miss me? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna miss you. Hugs, kisses. See you, buddy. Good morning. Let's get ready to rumble. Yeah. Buffer. I don't even think we could use that without copyright. <laughs> you gotta like bleep it out. It's cold. I read somewhere that I don't think it's Bruce Buffer who I think it's his like brother, cousin, or somebody relative. He made way more money off of that line than he ever did actually working his job. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> Autopilot engaged. I've probably told about like I wanna say 50 to 100 people about starting a YouTube channel. I've given them all these tips, they've asked me everything. Guess how many out of those people have actually started YouTube channels? One? I think two or maybe three, and you're actually one I'm of one of them, them. yeah! <laughs> did you notice I got a haircut? Yes, I did. I was just looking at it. It looks quite short. Princess cut it. Wow. Huh? Huh? What do you guys think? New profession. I taught her how to cut hair, and I know nothing about hair cutting. <laughs> looks good. <laughs> When I started my channel, I could have never imagined that I'd have a million subscribers, be working on multiple companies, all of that stuff. And even after people see my success and I tell them personally that it's a good idea and they should go for it, they still don't start. Why don't people start? Teppo, why didn't you start your channel right away? I was scared. <laughs> Curious, what's your reason? Uh, let me know in the comments what your reason for not starting a YouTube channel has been. Because it's important to go through these. Recognize, know what the reasons are. It's a lot easier to overcome them. Don't mind me while I set this up. Oh, and one of those three people-ish, three people that have started channels is Mark Bone, an incredible filmmaker, documentary filmmaker. Uh, I actually used to shoot a lot with him in the industry, learned a ton from him, and he is like this close to getting 100,000 subscribers. So let's make his day. Go and subscribe to Mark Bone. Let's get him over that 100,000 subs. Uh, and if you're not subscribed to him already, you should be. He's, he's great, you'll learn a lot. Okay, here's what I think. First off, it's excuses. Everybody has an excuse. I don't have a camera, I don't have the skills. I'm not good enough. My name is too weird. I literally thought that when I, I was like, nobody is gonna subscribe to a Maddie Hapoya. And that's why I started with Travel Feels to, yeah, make up for that <laughs> weird name. Everybody has an excuse, so no matter what your excuse is, I don't think it's really valid. There is a way to get this done. If you really want to start a channel right now, there is a way to do it. Number two, and this one comes up a lot. This is probably the best excuse is, it's too late. We missed the boat. It's too saturated, you can't get in there. People have a really short outlook on things and they can't picture the world two, three, four, let alone five years or 10 years from now. They just think we missed the boat, it's too late. It's really hard imagining your own channel actually taking off and growing. I never thought that mine would actually take off. I thought it was gonna be just like this little side hustle, a little bit of passive income but not actually like a thing that a lot of people want to watch. And that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy when you can't see the long-term outlook on things. You think nobody's gonna subscribe to my channel, it's too saturated already. And that for sure means that you will not have a channel growing because you're not gonna start your channel in the first place. But I can actually guarantee, 100% guarantee you success if you start a YouTube channel. And maybe you're thinking, how can you guarantee that? Well, even if your channel doesn't actually take off in growth, you don't actually get numbers, it doesn't actually take off into this big thing, you still learn how to film, how to edit, how to be in front of a camera, how to tell stories, how to, how to brand things, how to market, how to build a business, accounting, all of these things you're learning as you're doing your channel. So I can 100% guarantee success in one form or another. Another big one is, like you mentioned, fear. Fun fact, I used to be a pretty shy and I guess insecure person. I think out of us three brothers, I was definitely the most shy. And then at some point I realized that everybody is insecure. And for some reason, when I realized that, I just became so much more confident because if I was insecure in a situation, I could look around and be like, 
oh, all of these other people are also insecure. And that's the same thing with fear. We all have fears, fear of failure, fear of what people like your friends and family might think or fear of what the people on the internet will think of your videos or even the fear of it actually taking off and then what do you do with this thing now you have all this spotlight attention on you there's so many fears that come along with YouTube and all I have to say is that everybody has those there's no like actual like way of getting over them or like getting rid of them just everybody has them you just just keep going. And then there's work ethic. For some people, it's laziness. Some people don't work smart enough or strategic enough. Some people don't have the perseverance in their hard work and they kind of quit too early without actually seeing all the results or even actually getting started. A lot of people get stuck in that like, Oh, I'm like, I'm planning my channel. I'm still like archiving things. And that's, that's definitely a mistake because you actually have no idea what it takes to make a YouTube channel until you actually start that YouTube channel. Then you'll start realizing, oh, I need to work on this thing. Oh, this video is a good idea. This one is a bad idea. If you haven't even started a channel and you're just like making videos, you have no idea yet. In the end, YouTube is not easy. It is a ton of work, an infinite, infinite amount of work. I could be working day and night every single day. I could hire tons of employees and still have work every single day to be done. Uh, so yeah, it's a lot of work. There's no way of getting around that one either. But that is one of the reasons why a lot of people don't start. And lastly, this one's a weird one. It's your ego. Some people think, well, I got a fancy camera. I'm not gonna stoop down to the level of YouTube. It sounds ridiculous, but there's a lot of people who are pretty successful already in the area, or they think they're really successful. And they think YouTube is downgrading, especially starting at zero subscribers. Feels like a downgrade. And because of their ego, they're not able to let go of that and actually start the YouTube channel. And the most, the most ironic part of the whole thing is that the possibilities are so much bigger if they actually started their own thing versus just working for somebody else, doing the thing that they're pretty good at already. I wish people just knew the potential, knew the possibilities, knew the opportunities. Ah, I think a lot more people would start YouTube channels or just start their own brands in general. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Those are some of the reasons, big reasons, I think that people don't start YouTube channels and they're really missing out. From what I've seen, that's, that's a lot of people just do the same stuff. I decided to mow the lawn with my FPV drone the other day. It's not a good idea. Anyways, uh, if you wanna start a YouTube channel, just start it. Stop waiting, stop planning, stop doing everything else except your own YouTube channel. We have something interesting to try out. Ever since I got the DJI FPV drone, it flies really great, it's so convenient, but the image quality just isn't quite as good as something like this GoPro. Uh, so we're gonna test this out. Let's <laughs> see how it turns out. Got it on there, now it's time to test out if it actually works. What do you think, Depo? Chances of success? I have high hopes in the DJI <laughs> drone, but you never know. <laughs> you never know with testing out stuff like this. It might just crash right away. Or it might be mag magnificent, and this is the thing that I've been waiting for. We'll find out real soon. That was on his favorite new toy. I have a new name. It's no longer Dope Squad, but it's called E Gang. <laughs> e Gang. <laughs> All oh. things electric. What did you think about my proposal, E Gang? E Gang. I guess it could catch on. <laughs> Look at this. We got the electric bike, we got the one wheel. E gang. I mean, I love all things electric. We got Tesla, <laughs> we got the one wheels, we got everything. So we're in contact companies. We need, we need like an electric jet ski or something, or an electric snowmobile. Surfboard. Surfboard. There's this one company named Awake Boards. I've been asking them forever to send me this electric surfboard. So far, no luck. Come on, Awake. Oh. Let's make this happen. Need something fun to play with this summer if we're stuck here all, all, year, all year. Okay, let's first test it out with the GoPro, Go, 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 GoPro Max lens mod, and then uh, we'll test it without. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Have a valiant voyage, my friend. Got don't crash on us. There. You might want to move back. No, I trust you. You're a good flyer. I don't. Think, I don't <laughs> trust that.
You're in the zone? In the zone. Don't speak to me. In the matrix. <laughs> is it flying differently with that big weight on it? Uh, I'm not really noticing. I'm not. I'm definitely not a pro at this, so it's a little heavier for sure. Heavier. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> How did it feel? The question is, how did that look? Pretty promising. I think we gotta do a full video on this. Tomorrow, that's all we're doing, flying this around, testing it out. Let's see if this is this is the best FPV setup or, or not. This gives evolutionary. <laughs> this could this could change everything. I feel like a scientist. Game changer. We're making ground baking. Egg. <laughs> Egg for life. <laughs> <laughs>